This ride starts and ends at Park Road 21 and Highway 67, just southwest of Cleburne. Right before you get into Glen Rose, you can take a tour of the old Outlaw gas station, built of petrified wood around 1928. Just down the road is Big Rocks Park on the Brazos. If you need a break, this is a nice place to dip your feet in the river. After a quick pass through downtown Glen Rose, you take County Road 1001 to the first crossing of the Paluxy River. Depending on the water level, there could be eight or more crossings on this loop. The levels are low at the time of this filming, so I don't expect to get water in more than three or four. If you happen to do this ride when the levels are high, it's very likely that you're going to be going around a few of these. I'd say that this loop is about 50% paved and 50% gravel. It's 113 miles from start to finish and big bike friendly. On the second crossing of the Paluxy, you have the choice of the paved road or going off-road down in the river. Take my word for it and go down in the river. The pavement is like ice and your chances of crashing are high. I've witnessed a few riders make this bad choice. On the next section of our ride, County Roads 194 and 104, there are possible four crossings. I don't expect water in all four this time of year, but who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Water in the first one. Number two and number three were dry but that means we'll just have to come back and ride this one in the spring. The fourth crossing on this leg of the ride was also dry. Just another reason to come back and ride this one again. After a bit of twisty tarmac, I pulled into Walnut Springs for a bite to eat at this roadside barbecue spot. The Bosque is the final crossing on this loop. Unfortunately, it was also dry today. It's been a hot summer. Hopefully, the spring rains of 2023 will bring back the water. If you like this video, check out my YouTube channel for more ride videos. Also, check out our Facebook group, North Texas Adventure Riders.